All right, so we're checking out Windrock. I was here four years ago at this point. What's up, guys? At that point, the shuttles were still like old school buses that they converted into shuttles. Now they're using like a truck and trailer system. Are you from Boone? I am, yeah. I saw your sticker. Are you familiar with the town? Yeah, I went to Lee's McCray like four years ago at this point. Uh, what's your name, by the way? Phil. Um, I'm Clay. Clay, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. What do you recommend here? I, the only trails I know the names of are Talladega and Horseface, and I'm probably not going to start with Horseface. Um, I, this is my first day here. All right. <laughs> do you mind if I follow you? Yeah, totally. Do it. There's like a um, like timed race there. It's on the outside. Today or? Yeah, yeah, like right now. All right, so Clay is from Boone, which is oh man. I show up at Windrock. I guess I'm going blind on a race course. What's up? Is that Sean? Yeah. I haven't seen you in forever. Dude, this place is insanely developed compared to what I came here to last time. I'm working my ass off. <laughs> I bet, I can see. Yeah, you haven't been back in so long. No, it's been like, I don't know why. 10 seconds. One, go. All right, well. First lap, straight into a race run. No warm ups. You never know what you're gonna get on this channel. This trail is sick. Okay, there's a turn there. Ah. Bars are definitely... They might actually be bad. And I'm pretty sure I bet my bars. They feel really funky. Oh, man. Sure, it was sick though. Your video on how to bunny hop. What's up, man? How you doing? Good. I wasn't expecting my first lap at Wood Rock in like four years to just be a race run. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, uh, during that digger, I bent my bars a little bit, so I'm gonna go change those out. Okay. Hey, what trails do you recommend? Uh, uh, he said reach around the landslide, but Do a trail one. Cave Boy was trail one? Yeah, Cave Boy. I oh, like Cave, Cave Boy a lot. The jumps well. at the top. You can't go wrong with any of those. Yeah. All right, thanks. Go down to the car. I'll steal the bars from my trail bike and then get back up and running. All right, there you go. Got my bike back up and running. These bars definitely feel a little bit different, but the thing I like about that is like they have these lines, which makes it super easy to dial in your. Lever angle. Uh, fangirl for a second. Nice to meet you, Phil. <laughs> nice to meet you, man. My name's Tucker. Phil, where are you guys from? 
Uh, I live around here. Hell yeah, you guys are lucky. Alright, see you guys. This is... No, this is... This? I don't know if this is K-Boy. this terrain like this is the man-made natural stuff that I talk about liking that's not a good line choice what's better going right here going left there they're both pretty sweet all right have to do a little bit of both Okay, this is not leaf blown. Let's go this way. Oh my god. Hungry kid. Oh, you can eat buffet. Oh. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was good. I gotta chill out. This place can definitely end you pretty quickly. Up. Up. Thank you. Whew. Oh my god. Just seeing stuff all over the place. New handlebars? What's that? New handlebars? New handlebars. Watch you a lot. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. Okay, are we coming up on the... Rock drop. Rock drop. The, uh, the big step down to like the yeah, step yeah, up? Yeah. Step down, yeah. step up. Do you hit it? Is it easy to overshoot or... You can't overshoot, it's no big you, deal. Okay. I don't, think, I don't think it's easy though. I think you can send it. Hi, well, what's your name by the way? Chris. Chris, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, man. See how it goes. I'll see ya. That was an awful noise. Useful trouble. I wonder if I lost some air pressure. All right, so I just completely bottomed out my fork on something I don't think I should have bottomed out on. So I'm gonna go to the car and add a little bit more pressure. Doesn't seem like my shock was that off in terms of air pressure. I wonder if uh, these handlebars are a little bit lower. They don't have as much rise. If I'm putting more weight on the front, that caused me to land a little bit more heavy. Either way, not a big deal. So I got a big fan of your channel. Oh, thanks, man. What do you guys do? Uh, we cover Chromebooks. That is your niche, not like, not not computers, just specifically Chromebooks. That that that's smart because like a lot of people try to do too many different things. Yeah, I feel like because of how YouTube has changed, your home feed is more algorithmic than it used to be. I feel like less people subscribe than they used to because yeah, because it's the recommended now yeah yeah, yeah. the recommended so algorithm like back yeah now. how many subs are you at now i've been in the 400s for a little bit yeah like i feel like like half a million is right there yeah. i'm like 
Come on. I've oh. heard like I've heard it's like a hockey stick at first. Like you'll get to like 100 and then like 100 to 200 maybe happens quick and then that like two, three, four, five hundred slows down and then to get to that million will maybe be like another ramp. <laughs> Keep grinding. That's it. And have you ridden down that fire road rolling coal and the other stuff? I think my first time my first and only time here I may have. But that that was like Four years ago. That's kind of like Vermont, like New England style. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. It's leafy right now, though. We've been running every day. All uh, right. I think I'll pass on that. I uh, appreciate being able to no, see you. the trail today. Clean trail. Yeah. All right. Anything I should be worried about on Talladega? Nope. Straightforward jump trail. Yep. Cool. Thanks. All right. See you guys. Okay, last time I did part of the trail and then veered off to the side for the race course, so today I'll stay on it. It feels like it's running fast. Okay, I think this is Taldega. Taldega is like, oh, there's a berm to berm gap right there. I feel like Taldega is like the line. Wind rocking. Woo. Holy smokes, they're screaming into some of these turns. Looks like they're either building more or redoing part of it. Okay, that's not me phone. Let's go ahead and skip that. Right on this. Oh, that's so cool. All right, probably won't have enough speed, but eh, kind of. So this place has really kind of, I think, set a new standard for what bike parks could be. I wanted to gap that, but I know there's a bridge that has some gnarly rocks on the backside. Yeah, this place has kind of set the standard for what bike parks can be, especially without a chairlift. I don't know if Nico has how much involvement he has now, but I know Nico Mulally was involved early on, but a lot of this stuff is in part thanks to Sean Leader. Have, uh, committed a little bit better. Ah, uh, that sounds a lot more fun when we clear it. You guys need a spot? Yeah. Yeah, we can push in. I feel like this lift or this like, I'm just gonna call it a lift, adds a different social dynamic compared to any other like bike park. Yeah. It's more social. Yeah, you get to see everybody and then you get on the trails, you see them all again like 30 minutes. Yeah. Or 10 minutes if you Completely different than like a lift service bike park. It adds like a total different dynamic. I've never been to this. Uh -oh. uh -oh. Watch your vids all the time, man. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. I like them. Have the excavator treating you. Every time I'm on it, I'm learning something new. I bought a uh, Kubota, like a tractor with a front end loader and everything on it. Yeah, yeah. To build with, and uh, I've been contemplating on selling it and <laughs> putting it towards a mini X. Having the tractor is pretty handy, but after doing a whole lot of digging, I wish I'd have got the mini X. I 
I, I still want to get like, I think I'd like to get like a, one of those like walk behind dingoes or just like a yeah. small skid steer because like there's things that you can do with an excavator. And then there's things that I'd much rather do with like a, like a track hoe or just anything that has like a big bucket. Totally, man. Yeah, likewise, man. Mm. Yeah. What's your name? Bryson. Did you do race league? I accidentally, yeah. How'd you do? Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's got some style. What are they putting in the water this day, these days? All right, so is this trail number one? You probably need to look at the first rock roll. Oh yeah, this is kind of an interesting little feature, isn't it? Yeah, it's super fun though. You wanna tr show me down? like we're going to be doing a little bit of leaf surfing. All right, we're nice and high. Definitely would have caught this line. Like after this, you can see all the way down. Okay. And you can, there's no leaves on it. Okay. Man. This is a lot of fun. <laughs> It's called Nico's Death Rock. <laughs> Nico's Death Rock? Death Trap. Death Trap. It lives up to its name. Let's uh, let's see if it gets me. Nico's Death Trap. <laughs> I'll give him a little distance because last thing I want to do is. That is really cool. This kid's got lines. <laughs> uh, I think we're gonna be hearing about this kid in the future. I was following Bryson down for the one. Dude, that kid's nuts. I feel like we're gonna be hearing a lot about him in a few years. Maybe once he weighs 100 pounds. I did that jump. All right. Tech way. Yeah, let's do the tech way. All right, so this trail has a skate boy and it has like a slow trail which comes in right there with jumps and then it had the natural way which we just did. And it's like dropping me on this trail. I have to stop talking to concentrate.
All right, now we're on Snake Rock. Does it have a friendly sounding name? I like that line, the local's line. It's like a cable thing from back when the place used to be a coal mine. Okay. You can send it if you want. Or I'm gonna send it. Pretty big. Alright. Ha. Huh. I like that one. Nice and like that's steep, it's got some good pop. That's a really fun jump. Yeah, that's one of my favorite jumps in the mountain. Yeah, I be believe it. I don't think I would have found it. Hey man, nice riding with you. Me too. I didn't get your name. Uh, Luca. Here. Me too. That's dad. Brevard boys is Bre their Insta. <laughs> man, the like trail opportunities in the area these days, like. It's awesome, and that's that's really good. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. All right, what kind of uh, adventure are you taking me on this time? All right, let's go. Right now, you heard of a trail you want to do? You seem like you know this place better than anybody else here. All right, middle finger. Man, that amount of work that that probably took right here, there's a lot of big rocks. Okay, okay. I would have blasted right past this. <laughs> All of these you can roll? Yep. To come up kind of quick. Okay. This is Timothy National Race Course. Okay. So this race was in uh, the Nationals that they had here this year. I have no idea what I'm riding on underneath here. It is, so what you can't see because of all the leaves is there are some really nasty braking bumps. Ah, this is a bridge that I was talking about with all the rocks on the backside. Whew. Nice save, nice save. Whew. I can't see anything. <laughs> Here we could either go back to Talladega, to yeah. Death Trap, or this trail. What is this? This is the rest of Tennessee National. It's a bunch of fun turns, they're steep. Let's do it. Let's go for a racetrack. I heard somebody behind me, but I think I just kicked up a rock.
What's going on? How are you, dude? Not too bad. Good to see you. Were you uh, at TTC yesterday building or? Yeah, yeah, we were at TTC yesterday. Got a lot done. Yeah, Canuga's cool. They've, there's a lot of these like uh, trail bike, bike park style places like Canuga. There's one like an hour south of here that's pretty cool. Probably 30 minutes south of Knoxville. Okay. About an hour from here. So have you been video and editing all of Nico's stuff or? Yeah, it's been going pretty well. We got some big plans for next year, so we're kind of taking a break until then. I I like it because it kind of like uh, like his stuff like comes off as authentic. Obviously, people who don't know him don't know, but people who do know him, they can be like, yeah, it's very authentic. It's Yo, are you still doing wrenching for Nico as well, or? No, I was a mechanic for the intense team, but not for Nico for the last two years. Yep. For another kid, uh, Seth Sherlock. Yeah, yeah, I know the name. He's been kicking some butt. Yeah, I, really yeah, I started when he was on Scott in 2015 and 16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I took a couple years off and then did it the last two years. What do you want to ride? Well, it sounded like you wanted to do Talladega or something. Yeah, I was just going to cruise. Can you do the berm to berm gap halfway down? I've never done it. It looks really scary. I saw some tire tracks going off of it. It's doable for sure, but I've not done it. They rebuilt that not long ago and the, the edge of the turn got really steep. It looked really steep. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that stuff. <laughs> Fair enough. You good? Yeah, I'm good. You hit the jump on the top? I did. This one I went a little bit too deep on. <laughs> I'm a few years older than Logan, but we were in collegiate at the same time. And I, I know his brother from racing and he was a lot more quiet because he was a younger brother. You don't hear about him, but he definitely, he stuck with it. Could have been a World Cup racer himself. I remember in collegiate we had a lot of back-to-back -back heated dual song races against each other. I almost went for the berm to berm gap, but <laughs> last thing I want to do is land on him. That's such a good trail. So good. Did you do this little like inside free ride line down here off the rock? Yeah, dude. Like my, my first time down, I was coming down. I like I like had to do a double take and like hike back up to do it. Yeah, I'll do the little inside. All right. A little seat bounce. I still think that's such a cool line. We're gonna have the uh, Talladega reroute like up here so you hit the little like, you can see, like where the cut is. I, I saw them like starting to do some work on like I don't know if that section was ever open before but it's so chill. Not yet. It's like after the big tabletop out of the big left turn. I thought you do it's gonna go right and down through here. Can you do it? Yeah, it's not fall off the side here. <laughs>
see there's like a bunch of different ways you can do that section. So the trick is to stay right off this drop to miss some of those rocks. That was sick. That was awesome. Dude, I'm glad we caught up again. I remember we used to race in college a little bit. Yeah, I remember like I had some really good like solemn races against you. Like our freshman year yeah. at Brevard, like that's still like it was my first like, collegiate race so like to me that was like the most memorable one yeah yeah that was fun did, did did you get me that race or did i get you i can't remember yeah i don't know we made it to the finals right yeah i can't remember i'm stoked that I came out here it was kind of a last minute decision to come out here a little yeah i made a call at like 9 a.m or sorry 10 a.m to get out here so i only got here at like one but that's okay because it's actually really cold this morning Right, if you haven't seen my last video, click over here. I was riding with a single track sample and we rode uh, Paint Creek and that ended up being a super fun ride. Great suggestion. And yeah, as always, my name is Phil Metz. Thanks for playing bikes with me today. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Ah, oh, it feels so awkward talking to the camera around people. Still, you'd think after like, I don't know, however long I'd get used to it by now, but I'm not used to it.